Merdeka PNB 118, often known as KL 118, is a 118-story skyscraper under construction in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. When completed in 2022, it will be taller than the Petronas Twin Towers. Are you interested to know more about this skyscraper and its surroundings? Good news for you! Because for today's video, we'll get to talk about Merdeka PNB and the areas around it. But before anything else, let me remind you to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to never miss a single video that we will be uploading. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video until the end. The name Merdeka, which means independence, was inspired by the building's closeness to two stadiums, Merdeka and Negara. The Merdeka 118 Tower by Permodala National Berhad will surely make an impact on the Kuala Lumpur skyline. Aside from the 118-story tower being the first to receive triple platinum green building certifications, both locally and internationally, when it is completed in 2022, it will also be the world's second tallest tower, standing at 635 meters. The structure will be completed by the end of 2022, making it the highest in Malaysia and Southeast Asia. In fact, it will overtake the 632-meter Shanghai Tower as the world's second-highest building and structure. The 451.9-meter Petronas Twin Towers as Malaysia's tallest skyscraper and the 461-meters Vincom Landmark 81 as ASEAN's tallest building. Leslie E. Robertson Associates and Robert Bird Group are the structural engineers and the Neapoli Group. An environmental design and engineering firm was hired to provide consulting services in order to achieve platinum accreditation from the three Green Building Certifying Bodies, LEED, Green Building Index, and Green RE. Furthermore, the tower is constructed with a variety of diamond-shaped facets to represent Malaysian diversity. The spire of the glass and steel structure is reported to mimic Tunku Abdul Rahman's raised hand when he declared Malaysia's independence. A shopping center, offices, and residential spaces will be included. What will set the multifaceted Merdeka 118 apart from other tall buildings in KL's already aesthetically spectacular skyline for Malaysians and Klang Valley residents is its unique spire. Its design, which is positioned on the side of its highest peak, the tower, according to PNB Group Chairman Tan Sri Dr. Zeti Aziz, overlooks one of the most important historical sites in KL, Stadium Merdeka, giving it its name. It's a memorial to the spot when our independence was declared in 1957, where 20,000 people shouted Merdeka. On the other hand, the number 118 refers to the tower's number of floors. Conclusively, the name of the building not only refers to the nation's beginnings but also its current state, as reflected in the building's modern design. The building then also reflects as reaching out for Malaysians' future. The head of the structure also said that the buildings is an opportunity for them to unlock the value when the land was acquired in the year 2000. It is to create a focal point within the area for commerce, culture, and the preservation of their heritage. Moreover, he added that Merdeka is dedicated for the future generations who will discover more about independence and the country's progression and success over the years. The surrounding area of Merdeka is also very special. There are many old firsts here. There is the Chin Wu Stadium, which houses the first Olympic-sized swimming pool in the country. There is also one of the oldest secondary schools established in 1893, the Victoria Institution. Not too far away is the recently regenerated and revived Rex Cinema that was completed in 1947 a place that I did go to when I was a teenager, according to one of the founders of the tower. These structures, she continues, mirror the old section of KL and contribute to the address historical fabric. 
the Merdeka 118 complex, located near Chinatown in KL, comprises 40 acres, with Stadium Merdeka and Stadium Negara accounting for half of the acreage. The Merdeka Stadium is a historic landmark in Kuala Lumpur. It is where the Federation of Malaya's Independence was formally declared, and it was once the city's primary venue for celebrations and sporting events. The stadium also hosted numerous major concerts, including the two sold-out concerts by Michael Jackson's History World Tour in October 1996, which drew a total of 110,000 spectators. In recent years, the Merdeka Stadium has hosted a number of prominent concerts, including performances by Avril Lavigne, Jennifer Lopez, Justin Bieber, Mariah Carey, and A.R. Rahman. The 118-story tower, a mall, linear park, textile gallery, childcare facility, mosque, and three residential towers are the remaining components, which will be erected in phases. The first phase of the project, which includes the 118-story tower and associated infrastructure, as well as the second phase, which includes the mall and linear park, is already underway. In the third quarter of 2022, both the tower and the mall are projected to be ready for occupancy. Merdeka Residences, the development's final phase, is expected to be completed in 2025 or 2026. Meanwhile, many have criticized the project, claiming that the RM5 billion funds could have been better spent on other causes such as healthcare or education. However, former Prime Minister Najib Tun Razak responded to the criticism, claiming that the project was not a waste and that it would bring more benefits by creating economic opportunities. In addition to its purpose for the economy of the country, one of the main objectives for Permodala National Berhad while embarking on Merdeka 118 was that the development is smoothly blended with the surrounding neighborhood. The location of the iconic building in a historically significant neighborhood, as well as the revitalization of Stadium Merdeka and Stadium Negara and its absorption into the Merdeka 118 complex, speak loudly about PNB's intentions. Although Merdeka 118 will be the city's next hallmark attraction, PNB President and Group Chief Executive Ahmad Sulkarnain On says it is not intended to be an exclusive enclave. He said that it's meant to be shared with the public. We already have existing assets here and we want to make this civic. Public spaces available to the public. Much thought has been put into the experience of tenants, residents, and visitors. We are a new residence of an existing neighborhood and we want to make sure we respect what the neighborhood stands for. We want to help propagate and prolong the tone and culture of the surrounding neighborhood. Furthermore, when Merdeka PNB 118 is completed, it will stand on the line with the KL Tower and the Petronas Towers, with the KL Tower towards the middle of the line. But these two structures aren't the only things to see at Merdeka. There's also KLCC Park, a lovely park in the middle of Kuala Lumpur with a terrific jogging track around its perimeter. An incredibly large children's playground, fountains, lakes, cheeky squirrels, and even free filtered water fountains. Another option is Jalan Alor, a prominent street in the city for late night dining. This is the place to go if you prefer Thai food, especially seafood. However, if you're looking for souvenir purses, jewelries, shoes, or t shirts, head to Chinatown and Central Markets. The KLCC dancing fountains are also worth seeing. You may visit the park at night and enjoy an incredible fountain show right beneath the towers. As the fountains dance in perfect rhythm, the lake comes alive with a vivid symphony. In addition to Chin Wu Stadium, the Olympic Council Malaysia, the Rugby Association of Victoria Institution, and the Malaysian Basketball Association are also close by. As a result, a sporting community can be brought together through common activities and places to create tighter links with Merdeka 118. He says, Tansri Dr. Zeti Aziz, chairman of the PNB Group, says the bank is looking to the potential of adding a running track in Stadium Merdeka so that people can use it during the day. 
The stadium used to have a running track, but it wasn't there when we built it, so we had to remove it to return to its former state. Talk about convenience because the Kajang Line Merdeka MRT station, which is located beside Jalan Hang Jebat and is an interchange with the Ampang Sri Petaling Lines plus a Rakyat station, will serve this tower. A 600-meter walk southeast leads to Hang Tua Station, which serves both the Ampang Line and the KL Monorail. All in all, Merdeka PNB 118 offers more than its height. It is rich in cultural information and awareness which is beneficial for both Malaysians and tourists. Similarly, the areas around it are perfect to visit when you want to see more than the skyline and the view from the tower. So, what are your thoughts about Merdeka PNB 118 and the areas around it? Would you like to visit these places once completed in 2022? Let me know your answers in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. You can also visit our channel and check out other videos that we uploaded to have a glimpse of more luxurious videos brought to you by the Lux Luxury Channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.